Welcome to my lecture online. In this video, we're going to take a look and see what factoring is all about. At least we get a good glimpse of it here, at least the meaning and why we need it so much. So first of all, we want to define factory as being the inverse of applying the distributive property. In other words, if you take two binomials and you multiply them together using the distributive property, you'll get a trinomial. Now, if we want to take that trinomial and get back to the original binomials, the original factors of that polynomial, then we have to use what we call a factoring technique. And there's a number of techniques that we can use. We're not yet going to go into the details of each of the techniques that will come soon in the next videos. But first, we want to understand what we're trying to do here. So let's first go ahead and multiply these two binomials using the, dis the distributive property. So we're going to take the first term here and multiply it times each of the two terms in the next binomial. Then we take the second term and multiply it by each of the two terms in the next binomial. So we multiply four times. We take x times x, which gives us x squared. x times a negative 3, which gives us negative 3x. 5 times x, which gives us plus 5x. And 5 times a negative 3 gives us a minus 15. Now notice we have two common terms right here. They both contain the variable x. We can combine those. So this can then be written as x squared plus 2x minus 15. And this is the result of multiplying these two binomials together. So we have a trinomial. Now notice that's the very same trinomial that I have over here. Now what we're trying to do is get back to where we started with. We want to write this trinomial as the product of two factors. Now exactly how we do that, well there's a number of techniques, but at least at this point we're going to use a little bit uh, more or less trial and error. So we know we're going to need two binomials, so let's go ahead and put the parentheses down. So this trinomial will now be written as the product of two binomials. So these binomials will have two terms each. To get the first term in each binomial, we take a look at our very first term right here. We know that this times this will give us the first term. Since that first term is x squared, we know we're going to need an x here, and we're going to need an x here. To get the last term, that's going to be the product of the last two terms. So this times this will give us a negative 15. For example, 5 and 3, that gives us 15, but one of them must be positive and one must be negative. So we have a plus and a minus, one must be positive, one must be negative. The way we find out which of the two, the 5 or the 3, is positive, we take a look at the middle term. If the middle term is positive, then the largest of the two, in this case 5 instead of 3, will be a positive number, so we plug in plus 5 and minus 3. We'll show you those techniques in much more detail in the videos to come. But notice, if I now take a look at these two binomials that are multiplied together, essentially the two factors that make up this trinomial, they're exactly the same as the two that I started with over here. So when we multiply these together, we get a polynomial. When I factor the polynomial, I get back the original two binomials, the two factors in binomial format that are equivalent to the polynomial. And that process is called factoring. And yes, there's a lot of reasons why we need to know how to do that. There's a lot of good applications of that. So we're going to learn all the various techniques for the various types of polynomials and binomials to convert them back into the product of two binomials. But at least now we understand what it actually means to factor a polynomial or to factor, factor a binomial or a trinomial. It's simply writing it as the product of two factors in binomial format, which means if we have two binomials and we multiply them together, we get the polynomial, we take the polynomial and then factor it, we get back the original binomials. And that is what we mean by factoring a polynomial. <laughs>